right, welcome to today's thought on the scattered thought. Today we are thinking about the Katana Mavic Tray by Polar Pro. Now, I know there's been a, a few videos out here, but a lot of those are a little bit older and things along that lines where I, you know, I just wasn't sure if it was gonna work with the Mavic Air 2, which is my primary drone, and I really wanted a the ability. Now, I was gonna use uh, the item I got from Shapeways because that would give me the ability to actually mount it on a tripod also. However, this might be a little quick and easier if I'm just looking for the tripod uh, connection. And you know, I was thinking along the lines, I said, hey, uh, you know, what can I do to kind of stabilize the drone without flying it? Can I use it to test things out? Let's say like an ND filter or something like that. And I came up with the idea of, you know, mounting it to a tripod, obviously, because, I mean, that's what tripods do. And I uh, came across this, but really didn't see a whole lot of the Mavic Air 2. So I went ahead and picked one up because uh, I wanted to make sure that it would indeed actually connect to the Mavic Air 2, which it does. So that will work out perfect. Uh, so if that's something that you may be interested in doing or, you know, something that you thought about, you may um, find this video interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look. So what we have here is obviously the Polar Pro Katana Mavic tray and as you can see here it shows that not only does it have the side handles but you can actually mount your uh, phone device to it and I imagine you can actually connect the tablet to it if you use one of those tablet converters that you use for the controllers themselves. Now it is kind of cool you know I can use this to get um, shots with the drone that way the camera footage matches anything that I fly so if I'm going to get up something close or if, let's say I'm flying through uh, the woods or along that lines with it having the tripod mount that means I can connect it to you know both the unipod or you know whatever and actually kind of get those shots with a little bit more safety in wooded areas or around anything that would be dangerous to actually fly the drone in. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Now again, I have opened this up already. Uh, I was kind of waiting on getting this just because, uh, you know, I had so many other things that I was working on. And before I made this video, I wanted to make sure it actually did connect to the Mavic Air 2, which it does. So that worked out perfectly. Uh, this is actually my first product by Polar Pro. I do know that they have other things such as filters and, you know, all kinds of other stuff basically I just haven't gotten around to getting a whole lot from them but I have heard a lot of really good things from them and uh, look forward to actually checking out their products and you know sharing them with you so here we go this is uh, your standard you know instruction book but you know as normal I'm not gonna take a look at that right now I'll read that later uh, so it did feel very robust which was something I was very very happy with see this was the kind of rubber that I usually expect with some of the uh, products uh, that I receive or that you know that I picked up and it uh, you know it, it seems like it's gonna last a very long time and I did like that it had you know the phone mount and you can use different mounts on it too, you know, different kinds of things. So you can even use like a converter mount if you wanted to stick a uh, microphone on it or, you know, you know, a shotgun mic or, you know, whatever. So you can actually add additional stuff to it as you're, as you're working. And it is a very nice, I mean, it's a, a nice simple lockdown uh, thing. You know, I'm kind of used to those spring loaded ones, but I always do worry a little bit about, you know, what's going to happen once that spring starts to wear out. So it's nice that... I do have this option now where it's more of a lockdown and it's gonna stay locked down I mean it's I mean it's not going anywhere so that was a very nice um, addition to it let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way so this here just has a couple little simple screws that actually connects to the Mavic or Mavic Air 2 or whatever it is that you are currently running so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy off. And mind you, I will not be powering this up for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that gimbal protector on.
All right, so basically, this guy just kind of wraps up underneath. See, it just kind of fits on there. And what I like to do is make sure I'm not blocking any sensors. Now, mind you, I know it, it's not like I'm going to be using the sensors. However, I don't know, I just don't want to block them because I don't want to, like, accidentally damage them or anything like that. Okay. And you just lay this guy right on top and you screw it down. Now I know, or at least I've seen, that you can actually mount this guy with the arms open and or closed. I am curious. Oh, definitely not there. Yeah, so this is definitely not gonna be something you leave on when you're flying it. Because it's going to definitely get in the way. So let's go ahead and try mounting this guy with the arms closed now. How about that? All right. I'm going to leave these propellers out. Don't they, um, they work so well. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Still nice and nice and tight. And as you can see, it's quick and easy. And if you've seen any of my other videos, I am definitely a fan of quick and easy. Go ahead and adjust this guy here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All right, get the base on there. Kind of tighten her up. I guess one thing I would... Um, I would want to make sure is I don't block that power button. That way I can't have the option of turning it on and off again. Okay. That is definitely going to be over here. I wonder if the, uh, these things actually fit with it. Cigar. I suppose I could adjust it a little bit, but I'm going to lose that power button. That's all right. I will play with that another time. Now, I have seen in the uh, past some of the other videos I've seen people using this on, they've actually went ahead and taken the propellers off, which makes sense. Okay. All right. Look at that, see? It makes it nice and steady. Now, I, you know, the gimbal on the drone itself will take care of a lot of the motion, and um, you know, so you don't have to worry about moving it around so much, but I definitely would not uh, jerk it around because that would just lead to not so pretty video. And I did notice if you take a look here, this guy actually has multiple connections i mean you see it's got one on the side here it's got an angled one and it's got a completely flat one so that is very well thought out you know they were making sure that you were covered no matter what you're doing and you know everybody kind of holds things a little differently whereas you know i like a, a slight angle to it and it does tighten up just like any other device Down. Go ahead and take the phone here, which we got locked up. All right. 
obviously I wouldn't use my I'd use my other device that I use for things, but this would be a good little example. For my entire reasoning behind getting this thing. Oop. Let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and try mounting this guy backwards. Because I want I want to use it with a tripod. So Mind you, this is by no means the correct way to install it. However, it was just something that popped into my head. And I figure I can use an adapter on that. Pop it on a tripod. It actually might. might end up working out a little bit better this way. kind of makes me jump a little bit. Okay. All right. Look at that. See? Still have access. Propellers are kind of locked down a little bit. And I completely do not mind holding this upside down. To me, it doesn't really make any difference. Let's go ahead and grab a converter real quick. And again, I am more than likely using this outside of the recommended usage. However, I'm a big fan of tinkering. So that's just what I'm going to do. And I grab a little tiny tripod here. I know there are converters out there that allow you to uh, extend things out, but I don't think I really have a need to get too crazy. That seems to hold just fine. All right, look at that. It worked out perfect. So now, you know, mind you all, I'll use like a real tripod or a monopod on this, but you can see it's not going anywhere. It uh, is actually going to continue to hold it just as I would want it to hold it. Yep, not going anywhere, not going anywhere. Okay, and I'll be able to sit this guy down change out some lenses and not have to worry about it going anywhere so yeah I, uh, personally you know this was the first time I actually put it on upside down and it wasn't too bad I mean look at that that's nice that's real nice and this and the top of this actually kind of holds the propellers you know, keeps them a little keeps them from moving around these guys here oh yeah look at that Look at that right there. That is beautiful. Now I don't have to worry about the propellers being out of their way. I don't have to take them off. And I can use this to run around and do footage. Some close up stuff. Or I can lay it down and have it wherever I want it. That 
this isn't the best tripod. This is just a little cheaper one I got. got a couple of these laying around, but for sure, you know, monopod and tripod wise, it's going to hold. I do believe we have a winner. So, you know, good job, uh, Polar Pro. You know, I mean, it's got its uses for the way that they designed it to be used, but I love a good, uh, good mod that allows me to kind of use it for something else and without you know i didn't have to do much all i really had to do was that and i will take you know, i've got enough gap in there you know what why don't you go on a little ride with me real quick i'm gonna, I'm gonna try something out here let's grab another converter I guess I should have, could have, I could have just left this thing down when I was originally doing it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, since this is Just in case you are curious, what I am currently doing is attaching, because I was thinking about it, I, when it's upside down, it's all fine and dandy. However, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be able to have a phone mount on there. But, can use one of these guys to bring it outwards. Which I'm sure some of you were already thinking. Okay. And we'll take. Tell you what, man, I, these little things here, I picked them up for that Shapeways thing, but I have come up with so many uses for them. I'm going to have to pick up a few more of these. I just, uh, yeah, they're the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. So now I can still connect a tripod. That's where that thing went. Losing stuff. Okay. Now we're gonna see about connecting. Actually allow me to connect a couple things. Let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, this video is probably going to run a little bit longer than I was wanting it to, but we're playing right. And all of you can fast forward through this, so it doesn't matter. Probably will, however, end up looking for something that I can use to angle this out, or maybe just a longer one of these, which will probably uh, be what I end up looking for. But right now we're using what we got. I'm a big fan of making things from what you got available.
wants to connect. You see, I get a little bit of a longer one, so I have to put that on my shopping list. And then I can connect the phone. See? Connect that phone here. Mind you, I'm just kind of laying this on here for now. But you can see that that will work. Well, with a much more stable, stable tripod, obviously. But yeah, so I figure, you know, using one of these adapters, I can take this guy here and I can put a shotgun mic on it and, you know, maybe a light or something. If I'm recording myself, probably won't need a light, but, you know, shotgun mic or even, you know, the connection of a wireless mic. Just so if you're talking into your video or let's say you're doing like a documentary or something like that, it may work out. But yeah, that, uh, that came out nicely. I'm um, got a lot of ideas churning for this now. So, as always, I hope you uh, enjoyed your time here at the Scattered Thought. Y'all have a wonderful day, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.